What's going on repair gang in today's video we are working on a craftsman 22 inch weed trimmer this is a walk behind weed trimmer here and um it has your standard briggs and stratton 6.75 horsepower 190 cc and this is a common engine you will see on most pressure washers log splitters stuff like that well this style not this engine in particular but this style where the carburetor is over here with the air filter and um it's pretty easy to work on and we're only going to need like an 8 and a 10 and a pair of pliers and if you got a fancy tool to get rid of this you can but we're not even going to have to move that we're just going to work on the carburetor here i believe the primer bulb feels okay and um, yeah we're going to get this thing up and running for the customers so we get to trimming some weeds and it's a pretty easy fix we're going to start with some eight millimeters to get rid of this top here one two you can also use a flathead and then we'll work into getting a carburetor also eight millimeter right there for the air filter so let's get you up and start filming okay like i said it's eight on the top eight on the side we'll put these two bolts aside for the top part get rid of some of these spider webs up in here check the spring spring looks good air or carburetor is a little dirty and there's no gas in it but i need to clean the carburetor so we're gonna go ahead and remove the air filter. We'll take a peek at that. Air filter, it's it's okay, you know. It's gonna work. Now we got 888. Make sure we're good. Yeah. This is actually a pretty simple carburetor to work on. I know a lot of people just don't like it. And this is why I said you don't need that tool because now you can just take the C-bend and get it out of there like that. That was for the throttle here. Which could use some PB blaster at the end here. And because he drained the gas, there's no gas in it, which is always a plus. I always find it weird when customers put gas in it and they're like, I put fresh gas in it, it's not running. Well, you haven't ran it in 20 years, man. Fresh gas ain't gonna fix it. Now here's a part where you can look at it. I don't recommend, hmm, you know what? I think when we remove this tin and this tin, it's gonna come off too. Let's go ahead and remove this spring here without ruining it and just fold it up. And now we'll get the 10 millimeter in there and get rid of that for the carburetor removal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just reach in here with your 10. And that's the wrong bolt. What the heck happened to my 10? There it is. It's supposed to be preset on there for me. 10. And... 10. that removes the carburetor now right here all you got to do is just lightly slowly finagle it you do not want to ruin that little plastic nipple in there you're not going to have a good time we're going to check the gasket gasket feels fine it's not cracked or nothing and now we got the carburetor we're just going to pop this open that's a 13 there on the bottom we're going to pop this open give it a clean and I'm actually going to show you guys something you guys can do. If you don't have carburetor cleaner, you guys could just rinse it with soapy water. But I'm going to show you this thing I bought, and it's pretty cool. We're going to give it a test, see how it works. Like I said, this is going to be a fun little project here. 13 on the bottom. I bought this thing online. It's for um, your teeth, and it's just water in there. But I think it should be fun to, uh, I think this should work to clean the carburetor pretty good actually. You know what, matter of fact, let's see. Yeah, see just to start off with, we'll just wash off all the loose dirt. And carburetors don't have to look 100% perfect. The ultrasonic cleaner will obviously get it more clean. And we're just gonna pop that open. Gasket is a little cracked. We're gonna have to replace that. It's not a big deal. We can remove the needle and the jet. Starting with taking out this pin here. The 
now you see in that high pressure is cleaning out some of these parts here making a big old mess though maybe this isn't the best way to do it <laughs> at least on this hot day it's not too bad and you know what this carburetor is going to run i promise you that i promise you that yeah just get it all nice and wet yeah then you just shake it dry go ahead and get in this the little jet here water's coming out both sides that's clear now yeah that's all there is to it let's hope that method worked i'm pretty sure it did i have faith you know carburetors are not that complex despite what anyone says online that was fun though that was fun we had some good fun here let's replace that gas get this carburetor back on just put it back on and see if it runs. Okay, I dried out most of the water in there. And um, as you see, it's still a little dirty, but it's not as bad as it was. You can use compressed air to blow out the rest of the water, but it's really unnecessary. The gas will overpower a few droplets. It's not going to hurt nothing. You know, like Terrell always says, it's... Uh, lawnmower not a rocket ship in this case it's a weed trimmer not a rocket ship it's gonna run fine you just had to clear out the jets and clear out everything and that's pretty much all there is a small engine repair so let's put this thing back on huh okie dokie reverse way lightly finagle it back in put it nice and pretty over that gasket Get your 10 millimeter bolts up in there. Hand thread them to start. Two or three good turns. Don't want to cross thread anything. That will be a bad time for you. And we're not here to have a bad time. We're here to have a good time. And by good time, I mean you guys should be subscribing because it's all we have on this channel is good times. You guys should also be hitting that like button and let me know what you guys think about the auto flosser it has different attachments too we can try out different attachments in the future yeah we could also put soap in there maybe Woo! now it's humid okay now we'll start by putting the throttle back in its place sorry about that I had a call there we go got the throttle back in now we're gonna put the hose back on the back end there and then we're gonna switch to our eight and do our three eight millimeters here not those two I put them down here are switch to the eight fill your plate don't go in tight all the way on these right away until you got all three lined up you can hand start them but sometimes that doesn't work too good Not all the way tight yet. You want all three of them in before you go all the way tight. So on the third one, you tighten. That's done. We'll make sure the throttle works. Throttle's working. Put the air filter back on. That's an eight millimeter as well. And 
we'll put the top back on. Those are eight millimeters as well. Put our tools up and we'll back this up, put gas in it and see what happens. Okay, got that fresh gas in there. Nothing leaking, nothing leaking. So that new gas gets holding, prime it up. Okay, you should fire right up. Make sure she dies. It wasn't going into stop mode all the way. Okay, let's make sure we can start it again. That wasn't a fluke. There we go. It just had to be clicked in. Don't let anyone tell you you need... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna fall. Oh. Don't let anyone tell you that you need chemicals or fancy parts or needles or anything to clean a carburetor most of the time if you take your time you can just clean a carburetor with just water and that's it this isn't that hard of a thing for people to do it a lot of people swear oh you need this oh you need that but no it's pretty simple and thank you guys for watching this more repairs to come but yes, chemicals do help. Nothing would have been a nice thing of carburetor cleaner or throwing in an ultrasonic cleaner, get it done right. I mean, it's done right, but done brand new, clean, professional status. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Craftsman 6.75. Fuck it A. Bye.